to get with Kanye. Oh, we're, we're starting with we're starting with that. Oh, listen, man. listen. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm ask you a question real quick. I'm gonna right, ask you a question right. real quick. Leave my headphones on, man. All right. Before you, before we get to roasting, <laughs> I'm not roasting. It's not like I'm actually roasting you. It's just yeah, like facts. I'm gonna ask you a question, fam. No, I think it's just because I troll. Like I, I'm a natural born troll. Like no, okay. And the part, <laughs> here's my question though. Wow, wow, wow. Here's my question. Listen, listen. Whoa, whoa. so Gavin was just t- talking to me yeah, about yeah. how he pretended to know a top gun, <laughs> even though he didn't know a top. Okay, gun. I'll, I'll tell the whole story. So Go. I was at a cottage, and this guy was so passionate about top gun mm. right shout out my boy <laughs> right so so in the car he was like yo fam i have this theory i have this theory blah 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 yeah and i'm like oh yeah that's crazy that's crazy that's a, that's a typical gavin reaction too right eh? that, that's a typical <laughs> shit so so later in the night he was he was talking to me about top gun again and i was dozing off like i really didn't care so yeah. i'm like wait what like who's that like who's that character that you're talking about <laughs> he's like Fam, I just told you about the story. And he's like, he's like, wait, what? You didn't watch it? I'm like, nah, to be honest, I lied. <laughs> and Gavin does it on the regular, yo. Yeah, facts. Gavin does it on the regular. So here's my question to you. Here's yeah. my question to you. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, sometimes, fam, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I know when you're lying. Yeah, you do. I know, like, you know, I know when everybody's lying, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like you know this too. Yeah. So my question to you is, do you want me to play along for your sake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if, like on, on some Shutter Island shit, you want yes. me to like play it along with your story? Yes, because if I play along with yours, yeah, like some theories I don't know about, but I'm like, oh yeah, that's fire. You feel me? No, but like you could be honest, bro. You yeah, could be know. honest, bro. But, but you know, it's it's entertainment, so like I gotta I gotta gas it up. Like I'm known for energy, so I'm gonna always bring that energy. True. You feel me? True. Because imagine imagine like half the stuff you talk about, I yeah. don't know. Like I don't watch. So mm. imagine me like, oh that's cool. That's, that's cool. true. Yeah, you don't want to. You want to have that reaction. Exactly. Yeah. But, but like, it's my genuine reaction. Like, I get hyped to hear stuff. You feel <laughs> yeah, me? No, that's and true. I think, yeah. I think one of the things too is like, in in my sake, when when I'm telling a theory, you're mm-hmm. there like this, and I kind of get scared. What? No, because yeah. I'm thinking. I'm processing oh, okay, it. That's okay. why. That's all I have to think. Because when somebody tells me a theory, I'm I'm like adding stuff onto. It. I'm like, hmm, what if this and this? Okay. It's that's why I'm thinking. I'm not like. <laughs> Like I'm not just reacting. I'm, I'm okay. trying to like give you some more onto oh, it. Okay, okay. Me. Yeah, because okay. I'm, I'm glad you it. said that. I'm glad you said that. Cause, yeah. Because half the time I was like, damn, he's, isn't he not interested in me telling the story? No, I'm interested, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. But my interested face is me thinking. Okay. If you got me thinking, anybody in the world. Yeah. Like if you come up to me and talk to me, and then I'm like this. Yeah. You got me. Okay. Okay. You got me still. Yeah. I just think. I just think because my in my sake, I'm always like, I don't think while you're telling me the theory. I'm just like, mm. oh shit. Like I get it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That hey, makes man. sense. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. So, so if if you ever, if I ever catch you in a live app, you just want me to play along. Then. Yeah, play along. Okay, man. That's a real one, though. That's a real. One. You ever watch Shutter Island, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, I'm I'm not Shutter lie. Island. You, you should have just been like, I didn't watch that shit. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know we we're playing the gig. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about Shutter Island, okay, though. Okay, bad, bad, bad. So Shutter Island. Yeah. This is this is one of the craziest plot twists, bro. Okay. What happened? Craziest plot twist. I think this is one of the first plot twist movies I watched. So Shutter Island. The way it connects to your story, yeah, about is, lying, yeah, about lying, oh, shit. is pretty much this guy. He's mm-hmm. mentally insane, right? Okay, yeah, and he believes things are happening that are not actually there. And the way there was this theory yeah. that the way we can bring him back to life or we can okay. bring him back to his regular self is to play along with his whole charade and story around this island oh. and then pretend we know what's going on so he can snap back into reality. Wait, so we're pretending to make him come back to life? No, so so they're, they're playing along with his story. Yeah. So he, in his head, he believed he was a detective. <laughs> yeah, and he was trying to solve this murder. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's going around the island trying to solve murders, talking to sketchy people right but all of this stuff was just happening in his head oh yeah it was just happening in his head so this doctor Mm. he's like okay i'm gonna play along i'm gonna pretend i'm his like um i'm his deputy yeah yeah i'm gonna go along with him and we'll see if we can rewire his brain back that's crazy imagine like the guy's playing like oh i'm gonna just white line myself and lay on the floor dead and you know what's crazy at the end of the movie spoiler at the end of the movie what happens is he tells the crazy guy tells the deputy okay says would you rather live a life as a lie or die a hero live a life as a lie or die a hero something like that he said something along those lines but yeah but pretty much that's saying like 
he knew all along mm-hmm. that he was just playing along, oh. but he wanted to to live his his little like charade mm-hmm. as a hero yeah. before they kill him because mm-hmm. they were actually gonna euthanize him if he couldn't snap back to reality. No, yeah. So did they just keep playing with it until he died? No, they were trying to they're trying to bring they him back because to- his death date was coming. Yeah. It's like okay, if he doesn't snap back to us. Before this date, Just we're gonna kill, kill him, him off. Yeah. yeah, it's Leonardo DiCaprio too. Okay, word. Okay, what would you do in that position? Like Live if I lie? was. Would, would you want people to play along until you just die or just kill me right then and there? See, that's a, that's like a philosophy too. It's like, yeah. would you rather live a life as a lie or would you just like, oh, see? Because yeah. if you live a life as a lie, is it really living a good life? But you're still happy. Oh, see. I think it's like if you're if you're self conscious, yeah. is happy, and you did what's right for you. That that's all that matters, right? Mm. Is that what you think? I don't know because okay. I contemplate that too. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like if I was in that position mm-hmm. of I'm living happy in my own world, but it's it's not real. Mm-hmm. Everybody else doesn't see it's real. I would low key want to know the truth. I know, but aren't half the people right now living a lie because they don't want they're they're getting forced to study something that their parents want to. You know, oh, you mean you mean the live like the American yeah, dream? Yeah, exactly. Like the American dream. Like, is there someone that you know that actually lived the American dream? What is the American dream? There's I think so it's subjective, though. It is subjective. Exactly. So maybe that subjectiveness comes exactly. back to your life mm-hmm. and what you want to do. So is a lie really a lie if it's making you happy? Mm. <laughs> That's what that may be the deepest shit Gavin ever said. <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's why I lie. I'm that stupid. Was, <laughs> <laughs> the deepest shit. <laughs> It's because he wants to defend his his fellow liars. Facts, right? facts. <laughs> no, but that shit is bad. Like I I seen um because once you get in the habit of lying, yeah, like it just becomes. I swear, okay, lying is a superpower. Yes or no? No, it's not. Yes, it is. What the yes, fuck? Is. Lying is a superpower. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You, it's just a superpower to you because you feel good about it. <laughs> no, no. The ways you can. Okay, I'm, I'm going off as of such a bad guy, but like, trust me, fam. Like, I don't, the ways I, you can manipulate this guy. Yeah, exactly. This guy's about to say the ways you can manipulate people. No, exactly. Like, imagine having um, uh, going to a job interview. You lie about every, all your experience, but you still get the job. Isn't that like a superpower? Like, damn, I just finessed my way in. Okay, it's a superpower in the sense of like you can. It's not really a superpower though, bro. That's literally just like what? That's pretending. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's like ah, uh, I don't know. It, it's it's more like it's more like you know you know uh, X Men, the girl that can like shape shift. Oh shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's more of a superpower because it's physical. But no, just but lying like, and shit, that's not really a superpower. Fam. But like uh, manipulating a person. So is mind? acting a superpower? Acting, yes. No, it's not. Hold up. You're saying acting is a superpower? If you have lying and acting, that's that's combo right there. That's like Stephen Clay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can say. It. It's it's a superpower. Exactly. It's more like just a skill. Okay, we we can say in the Johnny Depp and um Amber Heard's uh Amber uh what's her name? Amber Heard. Amber Heard case. Yeah. She, fam. She almost like what do you call this? She almost played the role like mm. of her acting the whole time. Do you see her? She was like I know that's she, true. She was like and she wasn't a great actress. Exactly. She wasn't. <laughs> she wasn't. But a great imagine actress. she was a really good one and actually won and that got case. away with it. Wouldn't that be like a superpower? Like damn, you actually beat all the odds. Isn't a superpower like oh. Out of everything, like something somebody else doesn't have. Somebody else doesn't have, but yeah. everybody else can lie, fam. It's but not can, like, but not people are good at it. Mm, that's a good point. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good point. Fact. Not okay. not everybody can lie, but I feel like you can learn to lie. To learn bro. to lie, yeah. See that because a super, in my opinion, a superpower isn't something you can learn. Yeah, it's just born in you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're, you're saying you're a born I'm liar. A born- <laughs> Yo, yo, this guy said he's no, a some, born liar. Some people, some people can play along better. Like, I don't know. It's 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 such like uh, my character trait. Like, I'm I'm really friendly and can get comfortable real quick. Yeah. So boom, once I get comfortable, I can easily. This guy's a fucking chameleon, bro. Come on, <laughs> this man. Guy's a chameleon. Changes colors like mid conversation. <laughs> and you see it too. Like some days, some days on the podcast, I'll be like mellow. Yeah. But the other days, I'll be thing. You feel me? I just match energy. I think that's the chameleon. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the number one trait I have. I match everyone's energy. You match everyone's energy. If someone, word. if someone is being weird to me, I'll yeah, you're gonna be weird. I'm gonna be weird too. Mm. So you don't do that. You don't do that. No, I don't. I stay the exact same. <laughs> stay exact I stay the exact same. Honestly, if someone's being weird to college, you'll probably just leave. <laughs> 
No, but I entertain weird people, fam. Yeah, you do. Go and not entertain weird people. I, I There's some characters in my life that I'm not gonna lie. I, I question why are they still in my life. That's the fuck thing about you, because I think you just have fun. Because once once you see a weird person, like a sick person, <laughs> you'll make jokes. Shout out those people I know what sick means. Shout out those people that know that. You'll, you'll make jokes to make them do like stupid shit, and you'll just for it's your not. for your entertainment. Stop. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. Dude. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Exactly. Is that manipulating? That's manipulating. For your own entertainment, that's more bad than me. I feel like Gavin's like a, a pro gaslighter too, right? <laughs> yeah, Gavin's no. looking a pro gaslighter. This guy flipped so. it onto me like, you're a manipulator now. What the fuck? <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm kidding. <laughs> chill. The, yo, chill, chill. Chill, I'm a good chill, guy. Chill, I'm a good chill, guy. Chill, you, and y'all know me. If, if you meet me an actual person, you'll love me still. Yeah. Okay, let's get into some theories real quick. Because okay. I have some theories I want to say. Okay, bet, bet. okay, this connects to it though, actually. Okay, say no more. So, there's a SpongeBob theory. Okay, bet. right? <laughs> The yeah, I mean, we haven't said the SpongeBob theory Since in a like long episode ass time. 16, fam. All right, listen. All right. So there's a theory yeah. that Mr. Krabs uses an addictive drug in the Krabby Patty formula. Oh, word? Yeah. Well, think about, think about it. Look, look. If everybody bites into it and yeah. then they get addicted to it right away. Remember Squidward? All he'd had was like a little piece, fam. And he was gonzo. And then he he was a, he was obsessed with he Krabby Patties. Feel me? He loved that shit. So I think in episode like, I forgot it was, but there was this SWAT team in an episode delivering the secret formula in a bottle to Mr. Krabs, okay, right? Yeah. And there was a, there was a, X on it. So they didn't really say what the substance was. Yeah. But the theory goes okay. that Mr. Krabs, he gets away with some shady shit like all the time. Mm. He even gets away with paying his his uh his employees. Yeah, I swear he doesn't pay them. He doesn't he doesn't pay them or at least pays them like little to nothing, yeah, right? Facts. Now check this out. So there is there is police okay. in the Krabby Pack, I mean in SpongeBob yeah, universe, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So the theory goes that the feds, yeah. they know Mr. Krabs uses an addictive drug in his food, okay. but he do, the feds don't want to do anything to stop it because Bikini Bottom is already doomed. What they're do all doom? already addicted. Oh, they're just, they're just, oh, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. Fuck. So they take away, they take away something that everybody's addicted to. And How do they fix it? Everything will go bonkers, to exactly. be honest. Exactly. How are oh. they going to fix that shit? You're right. You're right. So- and you think about it, look, yeah. everybody, literally everybody goes and eats Krabby Patties. Yeah, that ass. And, so, and, and I'll take it a bit further. Yeah. <laughs> when you're a kid, did you not want to try a Krabby Patty? Everybody want to try a Krabby Patty. <laughs> Especially the colored ones? Yeah. Oh I think God. the biggest, the <laughs> biggest like um, slip up of Nickelodeon was yeah. not making a Krabby Patty restaurant. Oh my God. Imagine Nickelodeon made yeah. a Krabby Patty restaurant at the same time SpongeBob was, was at its peak. Oh my God. Imagine like Mr. Beast Burger, but yeah. Krabby Patties and Krusty Krab fam. Fam. If there was a real Krusty Krab, Yo, Nickelodeon would probably be, still be one of the biggest fucking cartoon companies that ever. Ass. They still are, but like I they know. would be up, up, up. Fuck. Every kid would probably eat a Krabby Patty. Fam. Exactly. I think I think if Mr. Beast was born at the time, like big at the time, yeah. during that, he would definitely do that. He would definitely do that. He would just be like, yeah, re let's release a SpongeBob, shit like mm. that. Because you know what he did um recently? What? He did the, the Willy Wonka chocolate. Oh, the chocolate bar. Yeah, he, yeah that he shit was smart. He recreated the whole thing. Yeah, and, that shit was and there's smart. A, I saw a theory that, um, that in Willy Wonka, yeah, that Charlie was supposed to win the whole time. It was rigged, so so it was planned. Yeah, so Willy Wonka actually handpicked the winner from the beginning. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. so so this is what happened. So I think at the beginning of the movie, remember when Charlie went in the chocolate fact? I mean the the candy store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he bought a chocolate bar, right? Yeah, for his for his grandpa. No, no, not yet. So he he bought a chocolate bar for himself, mm -hmm. but he had twenty five cents left, and he was like, I I need to get one for my grandpa. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: before he turned around, the candy store owner. Owner, handpicked a Wonka bar from the top and gave it to Charlie. Oh, and shit. He, and he got forced to buy it. Mm, so right? that specific one. Exactly. And uh, uh, Willy Wonka, this was days before the whole like Willy Wonka event happened. Yeah. Right? Everyone's saying there's a theory that the employee... Uh, was actually Willy Wonka's assistant. Oh, so he works. He, he works, works for, for Willy, Wonka. Willy Wonka, and he was like, "Okay, this this kid is good. Like, and he lives close to the factory. Let me give him that that um candy bar." Mm. And in the and in the Broadway film, the yeah. same actor played Willy Wonka and the employee. Oh, so it's it, so it showed it's, a tie. It's showing. It's yeah, showing. Exactly. So that's true. Then that's not even a theory. No, it might be. They're still they're still contemplating on if it's a theory. So he planned it the whole time. No, Wait, why would he want to pick Charlie though? Why no, would he because, want to pick um, him? He lives close to the factory. And he's a good person at heart. Oh, because he wanted to buy a chocolate for his grandpa. So, so, so you're saying he like stalked him stalked in a sense? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yo, what the fuck? Because if you if you notice when Willy Wonka was 
talking to all the kids. He didn't even talk to them a lot except for who? Charlie. Yeah, except for Charlie. And he was like, he was like, this is what he said. He's like, oh, I heard a lot about you. When nah, he, he didn't say that. He did, he, he did. Said that? He did that. He did that. This guy's a fucking like pedophile off. or some shit, bro. What the fuck? But Loki, I always got weird vibes from Willy Wonka, to be honest. Yeah, it is It is weird. Like, he's collecting kids yeah. and then he's like kidnapping them in exactly. a sense. You know what the, I mean? the Oompa Loompa theory, too. Like, it was very mad dark. You know, that's actually part of like the lore. The Oompa Loompas are actually from like a. See, I didn't know. This, this is like a native island. Yeah. All these Oompa Loompas are from. This is actually part of Willy Wonka lore, fam. Holy smokes. And he pretty much just kidnaps all of them, yeah. brought them to work for him, bro. Oh my goodness. And why? Because they look funny to him. Yeah. That's weird, bro. So, so like that's, some, that's some serial killer, yeah. psychopath shit. So there's actually there's actually people that look like the Oompa Loompas out there? No, 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 no. I'm saying in, the, like, in the universe. Yeah, in the universe? In that universe. In that oh, universe. So. Not our universe. No, because I was going to say like, oh, maybe, you know that, that uh, abandoned land at Disney? Maybe that's where all the <laughs> real Oompa Loompas show. <laughs> like there's actually show. in Disney, there's actually like ratatouilles. Like they actually like talking mice and shit that cook. That'd be crazy though. That'd be <laughs> crazy. Do you think, you know, you know the story of the Pied Piper? Oh, uh, the guy who was like, um. Yeah. And he can control mice. He can control mice. You yeah. think there's real people that can control animals like that? Control animals? Shit. There might be, fam. Shit. There might be. Because imagine imagine you had like that flute and then yeah. you can tell the rats to do whatever you want. Mm. That's like in Suicide Squad. Yeah. I don't know if you watched Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I did? Asked, no, I didn't. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, wait. There, there's a there's a movie I want to talk to you about actually. Okay, bye, bye, bye. So you ever wondered like, are we ever gonna see a, a COVID film or like a film that's in COVID era? We we kind of already did. All of us are dead. No, no, it wasn't. But the zombies. No, no, no. But like, I mean, in COVID, in actual like oh. Corona era. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. So check this out. Okay, bye. There's this movie. This was the first movie I seen that actually incorporated us being in lockdown and quarantine and shit. Huh? Starring who? Recent? Yeah, starring who? Who? Zoe Kravitz. What the fuck? Yeah, this Zoe Kravitz. Recent? I've never heard about this. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, tell me so that. this movie, yeah. this this it's pretty deep. Like it's it's a good film because yeah. it really shows how COVID affected everybody. Facts. So it's about this girl. She works online, right? Because okay, yeah. obviously during quarantine, she For works sure. online, and what she does is. You know Amazon Alexa? Oh yeah, like a uh, Hey Alexa. Yeah, you can this, say Hey Alexa, this. right? And yeah. then it will pop up. Beep, yeah. I'm I'm here, mm -hmm. right? So she actually does the security for it. So oh okay. no no not security but troubleshooting. Okay, so she fixes up the Alexas. Yeah yeah. So let's say you tell Alexa, Alexa, I want to eat cheeseburgers or some shit. Okay. Right. But if Alexa didn't understand you, if Alexa didn't understand you, she goes and troubleshoots it to to listen to the audio and then fix it. So she plays with a code, right? Oh, okay okay. Now. This is get this is where it gets crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, what happened? So one day she was doing her job and listening to all the audios to fix. Okay. And then she hears music playing in one of the audios, and then all of a sudden in the background noise, yeah, she hears a woman being hurt and this no. guy saying, Fuck you, bitch. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it sounded like a sexual assault, right? Yeah. So she gets her, she gets her like DJ equipment, plugs it in, and then plays around with the audio, and she can clearly hear oh, shit. like physical abuse happening through the. It wasn't called Alexa; it's called Kimmy. Okay. The Kimmy. movie's called Kimmy, by the way. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So it it it, it came through the Kimmy, right? Now it's crazy. Mm. Um, she went to the heads of the company, right? Because she works with them. Yeah, yeah. She and she's like, reported. yeah, she wants to report it, but they were doing everything they can to hide it because they didn't they didn't want that attention and what's even crazier what? the audio of that girl being abused there was more audio to it oh shit. and she was able to hack in and and hear more of the audio and you can hear people breaking into her house nah. cutting her throat what? wrapping her up in plastic <laughs> and she's like okay it's done it's done and then yeah. they're they're pulling like the duct tape and shit and then like wrapping her up right no way now check this out so she knows all this information and wants to bring it to the heads right the, mm -hmm. the headquarters now she goes to the headquarters yeah and then what do what does the the head say she says ignore that shit yeah she's like we can't we, we shouldn't do anything about it blah blah, blah. and she's like no i want to tell the fbi i have to yeah. tell the fbi bro it turns out that that audio of the girl being murdered yeah. and her being abused, it was actually recorded 
on the head CEO of the company. Oh, fuck that. Through his Kimmy that he had with his mistress. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, uh, so what happens in the rest of the movie yeah. is this head of the company now is sending hitmen to, to try, to try and, and kill and, her. Yeah. So she's in the office, like scared as shit. Mm-hmm. And then she sees like these, these hitmen coming towards her all yeah. black and trying to kidnap her, bro. Oh my God. That's yeah. Crazy. And then all of, while all of this happened, uh, Zoe Kravitz is so good. Cause she plays like, um, she plays like a really anxious girl. Yeah. Cause she's messed up through through um quarantine. Yeah. And she's that's kind of her character already. Yeah. Like if you look at her, she's kind of like the shy, anxious one. Yeah, she could be, but she can also be badass. That's yeah, why in the rest of the rest of the film, I don't want to spoil it. Like the good parts, she she goes crazy. Okay, she goes man. crazy. Yeah. The, the, there's so many comments like, yo, Carlos is like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna spoil it. Two minutes later, spoils. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I give the warning, feel yeah. me? I give the warning, but if you guys yeah. want to watch it, there's a lot more to a movie okay, than okay. just like the little parts. The little parts? Okay. That's like a cliff notes type Th- of Do you feel like that's um, based on a true story? Oh, it is based on a true okay, story. I, I was about it. to tell you that. I, I was about to tell you that. It. So that that whole scenario yeah. of hearing abuse through the Amazon, I mean the Kimmy, mm-hmm. was actually exactly replicated in real life. In a real life scenario, this happened in the States through Amazon Echo. Yeah, I was going to say. The exact same thing happened where somebody was troubleshooting and heard all of this stuff happening and they were able to crack down on on the abuser. Yeah. No, that's scary though that even if you have an Alexa in your house, Mm -hmm. that you can act like in your subconscious mind that people are actually listening to you. Yeah, even this, bro. People are listening right now. You don't think people are listening on Siri (laughs) right now? I actually don't think Siri. I don't think Siri. You're tripping if you don't think so. Really? You're tripping if you don't think. I I just think Alexa because that shit is a block in your room. That's weird as hell. Yeah, that one, that one's more obvious. But if you can say, hey, Siri, you know what I mean? And it'll listen to you? It's listening. Yeah. It's literally listening all Mm times. So it's waiting for us to say, Hey Siri, yeah. right? Yeah. But everything else in between, it still listens. Did, did you see the guy where it's like, um, it was a hacker, but he hacked into someone's house, but it was for a good cause. Wait, what? He was like, um, so do you know that thing where it's like the door in the door, like your keyhole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of be a camera to see who it is, mm-hmm. and sometimes the whole home- oh the ring, the ring, the, the thing. ring thing, yeah. yeah. And the homeowners can check who it is, yeah. Right. So the guy was just sitting at his computer, and he and the hacker was like. Hello, is anyone home? Mm. And he was waiting for his, who is this? He's like, oh, uh, calm down. Like, I'm a hacker, yeah. but um, I'm here for a good cause, right? And yeah. the guy was like, the guy was like, oh, your your house is being targeted. I want you to know that. Oh, you shit. Know, there's, there's robbers that have been coming. Like, I just want to warn you because I've seen it through the ring light. Damn. So, so the guy was like, okay, I want you to do this, this, this. I'll walk you through it. Don't worry. Like, I'm not a bad guy. And so the, the ring people that work for the company? Yeah. No, so I guess some troubleshooter or some hacker, some random hacker. Oh, the hacker. Yeah, because he was supposed to hack him, but he saw that he was he was getting targeted. So he was like, no, let me help this guy. Wow. So yeah. he switched up. He's like, let me be the good yeah, guy. Today. It, it was like a wholesome thing. Word. Yeah, that's why hackers can be good guys. You know, liars can be good guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the biggest liars. Who? Have you heard of the angel of death? The angel of death. Yeah. I don't think I heard of this. Okay, no. so, so this was a guy who worked at a hospital who lied the whole time because he thought that killing his patients was actually helping them. What do you mean? How? How? Because he, he just thought like, oh, I'm going to help them uh, end their suffering and just put them up to heaven. That's why it's angel of death. Oh, so his philosophy was like, I'm going to just send them I'm up. I'm going to just send them up. So so I th- it was an 18-year-old, I think, Donald Harvey. And he was an 18-year-old doctor? No, he was an 18-year-old assistant. Uh, for, oh, for, he wasn't even a doctor. No, he was just an assistant. Okay, okay. So like that assistant that comes in and says, oh, how are you? How are you? Like, yeah. uh, do you need food? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So he yeah. was that kind of guy. So in his first year of working, mm-hmm. I think this was in 1970, he killed 10 people. Oh, shit. That's a lot, bro. Exactly. And in his, I think he worked for, there for, I guess, five years. He killed 57. What the fuck? In total. And I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you the three car- craziest ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think one of them, uh, you know when you have, um, when patients like can't breathe? Yeah. They, they, they're they hooked up to the oxygen like tank, mm-hmm. right? So in the middle of the night, this guy Harvey cuts off the, the oxygen. Yeah. She can't breathe. She died. And he, he played it off like it was an emergency. He was oh, like, yo, yo, yo. Shit. He was like, yo, yo, she's dying. She's dying. Yeah, the yeah, oxygen yeah. tank is not working. Boom, played that off. The next one, some guy was already in a critical state. Yeah. He took a pillow and put it on his face. Suffocated him? Until he suffocated. Fuck. And he got away with everything, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I think this was the craziest one. There was a patient that couldn't lay on his stomach because mm-hmm. uh, I think it was a severe condition where there was fluids in his stomach. Yeah. So he couldn't be turned over. What he did in the middle of the night, he turned him over on his back 
on his back, so he drowned of the fluids in his oh, body. Oh shit! So it, so it all seemed like accidents. Yeah, exactly. And he got away with this for like what, seventeen years? Damn, something like that. How did they catch him? Do you know how? Oh fuck, I don't know. I don't know how, but I think I think they just fired him and, and he probably went to surveillance jail. or some yeah, shit. To be, to be honest, I think oh. he's in jail now for sure. Damn, fifty-seven bodies 50, plus. Yes, bro. That guy was going on a spree, bro. Exactly. The, the power of lying. No, you know why though? He he probably just thought like he because like what you're saying. Yeah. He believed he was doing the right thing. Exactly. If you're killing that much people, bro, mm -hmm, yeah, that's some. That's like some culture. That's like um, what's his name? Jim Jones. Exactly. That's like exactly. Jim Jones, like killing all those people, innocent yeah. people, mm -hmm. and believe making them believe this is right. Yeah. No, but I, I, I don't want to say I kind of get it, but people who are in critical state, I feel like that it's it's justifiable in some sense. Mm. But for the people that could actually make it. Like survive. There's no reason in killing. So him. it was his choice. He made it his choice. Like, oh, I'm gonna judge you. Fem yeah, exactly. but it, you lose that that freedom then, right? Yeah, that's true. And especially it's not the family's choice or whatever. That's yeah, fucked up, I right? Know. And at that point, serial killers like don't give a fuck anymore. Like, yeah. Even if even if you're healthy, they'll probably do it. Yeah. Rollback activewear. The best way to describe rollback is best fit, best feel. When it comes to quality, rollback takes it to a new level. Their Q-zips, t-shirts, and hoodies are unbeatable. They bring a new meaning to the word comfortable so my favorite rollback piece is the performance hoodie and these are a total game changer these are the softest stretchiest most comfortable hoodies in the game trust me they got college athletes to social media content creators wearing this and they can't take them off the performance q zips are incredibly comfortable you can wear them on a jog you can wear them to a date they're the definition of versatile the performance polos are also amazing trust me you guys even if you're not a polo guy these polos are the ones you guys want to wear the material is amazing and the prints are Fire. So do yourself a favor by going to rollback.com and using our promo code jumper J U M P E R and get 20% off your first order. That's spelled R H O B A C K dot com and get 20% off of polos, performance hoodies, and Q zips with the code jumper. So just in time for the warm weather, go to rollback.com and get yourself right. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to click that. Yo, you know um Jared Leto? Oh yeah, what about Jared Leto? He's Joker, <laughs> right? He's yeah, Joker. Joker. Did you know? When he was playing Joker, no way. In preparation yeah, for Suicide went, Squad, I heard about this. You heard about this yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. bro? So <laughs> he would send, he would send like, like used condoms. Yeah, he freaking would. like semen covered like magazines. Mm -hmm. I think he sent like a dead bird to Margot Robbie, You're freaking Will Smith, <laughs> all of his cast members to go and like what do you call it freaking mess them up. I guess no, he, it was for himself, bro. Uh -huh. It was for himself to like um. What, what's, what's the word for it when, when he really wants to play character so he becomes that character? Submerge in the role? Yeah, it's like submerge in the role, but there's, there's a word for like method acting. <laughs> oh, me oh, for method, method acting. acting. Yeah, this guy yeah. method acted so crazy. Yeah. He turned himself into this like serial killer, freaking sending, uh, sending all these like nasty shit, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. No, because for him to play in Suicide Squad and not even do sick. I know. <laughs> I know. To be honest, man, who who was the best Joker to you? Best Joker, did, did Joaquin see, Phoenix, okay. easy. Did you see the new one though? He kind of looks crazy. He kind of looks psycho. Oh, he's he yeah he he's good. Yeah, because he's in a lot of like a twenty four films. Yeah. yeah, he's in a lot. So he's already psycho, fam. Yeah, he he's gonna be good for it. He's yeah. gonna be good for it. Okay, if you were the Joker, how would you how would you method act? Would you do that crazy shit? Mm, I don't this, know. This is what I would do. I think I would lock myself in a room for like forty eight hours. I feel like all you need to do is freaking like pop a Zan or some shit. <laughs> Pop a perky. <laughs> nah, I don't condone that shit. I don't yeah, condone that shit. Do 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. A lot. There's, no. like, there's like Joker uh, wannabes out there and they're like, oh, Sand. <laughs> yeah. No, don't do that. Jo don't do that shit. Yeah, there's not that. a laughing matter. No, but, but going, to, going to Jared Leto though. Did yeah. you know Jared Leto uh -huh. has a cult? Has a cult? This guy has a fucking cult, oh, yeah. bro. Did you see this? Sure. Not like just a cult following. Mm -hmm. A cult, like an island. What? Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. So is it people just as jokers? Don't tell no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be so, so look, look. scary. So Jared Leto, he has this island and yeah. he brought all of these people with him to like, it's kind of like a meet and greet, but I don't even know. I don't know if you can call that shit a meet and <laughs> greet, bro. meet and greet on the island. Look, look, look. How expensive this is this? This is how sus it is though. Okay, let me Just see. look at the pictures. You can get an idea of what the fuck's going on. Feel me? This guy's standing around like it's Jesus, bro. I was gonna say, see this shit? Look, they're all wearing white, right? Look what he's wearing. <laughs> a robe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Jesus, though. Look, look. And then look what they do. What? They just go around and pray together. Look, that's just a cult, no? <laughs> Is that shit not a cult? That's fucked. That's fucked. And you know what's even crazier? What? For you to join this, you have to pay like 
thousands of dollars to fucking be there. Wow. If you're so, a dedicated fan. So he's manipulating money too. Yeah, he's like getting money from it too. Look, look. Okay, that's fine. So he's, this is literally a cult. He's sitting on the chair. Everybody's dressed in the same clothes. Where is this island located? Because Loki, let's, let's go and vlog. <laughs> it's in Croatia. It says Croatia. Croatia. So it's called an exclusive festival. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. The Jared, Le- exclusive festival, the Jared Leto manipulation. Just look tank. at his mannerisms in this shit too. He like, this man feels powerful, bro. Damn, I think he, like, that guy looks like Jesus too. Loki, yeah, he does. That's freaking. Maybe, maybe he has this like um, messiah complex. Yeah, you ever heard of that? No, what's that? Oh, messiah complex, like um, like an alpha type complex. Not even that. He thinks like he's the savior of the world, and he has he's his purpose here is to oh. like save everyone. Okay, because that's a real thing. Like you can you can get trapped into that mindset that like yeah. oh my purpose is to be this figure. Mm. Yeah, because I remember you were telling me that you can see that in people too. Like, uh, their what? What is it? Like their appear. You, you may be short, but mm. their appearance is like. Oh, tall. I, I preach that, bro. Yeah, I yeah. preach that. We have a friend. We have a friend. He's not even that short, but, but like when when he when you talk to him, it feels like a little bit shorter. Oh, word. Yeah, so, you know so what I'm talking he, about. He gives like a like a shy type vibe. Not even shy. He's not even shy. He's just like the energy. You feel me? Oh, it's just the energy. Yeah, I get that. Cause I can. I'm. I always try to give off like. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just not because I want to be perceived as that, because yeah. I want to feel like that. Mm, yeah, you know, for, it, my, that, for yourself too. Yeah, but I feel like that just all comes with confidence. Because even if you're that shy type type kid and you pretend like you're confident, mm-hmm. anything can go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. It starts. It starts with you for sure. Yeah, because if I walk around like this and then I yeah. I do everything small like this, yeah, my mind is gonna program myself into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you if you practice the opposite. Mm-hmm. And then you become this like super confident person, even though you're not on the inside, yeah. but you perceive that you do become it. Facts. You think you can manifest confidence? Yeah, easily. Yeah. Easily. That's something you can really manifest easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if, if you're shy, right? If you're shy and then you just even see confident people and look yeah. at them, you I can just, just manifest yourself into their mannerisms, facts. like freaking how they move, how they walk, whatever. Yeah. My, my, my cousin was telling me the story because he went to Montreal and he was this really shy kid, but he came back to Canada yeah. with full confidence because this is all he needed. So he went to a club by himself. Oh. And he, made, he was like, okay, let me test if I can have fun by myself. Yeah. So he went into the club. The moment he got there, he he had to make friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're not just gonna party by yourself. Because you force yourself into that position. Exactly, exactly. That's what he did, and mm. all he did the, the whole night he was making connections. Came back and he's like, "Yo, Gavin, let's club. I'll show you. I'll show you the ways." I'm like, what? Mm. <laughs> Yo, you know what that's like, man? What? Because I went to I went to Jalen's party. Shout yeah. out Jalen one time, no. and he had like a rooftop party, right? Yeah. Now what happened was the music was only inside. Oh, facts. So. On the outside, on the terrace, on the yeah. rooftop, fam, there's no music there. <laughs> yeah. So you're kind of forced to go and talk. Mm-hmm. And that's what's so dope about those, like, um, I guess those settings yep. is everybody is looking for, ha- they're looking for fun. They yep. want to have fun. Exactly. So they're forced themselves to be open to discussion, whatever, yeah. and actually be outgoing to go and have fun by talking, communicating. Yeah. Because usually you go to a club. Listen. All, all you're doing is this. Yeah. Everybody's just like bopping yeah. up and down and shit. Like, that's all it is. You can't really... You can't really facts. spit no game facts, there facts. too. Your, your whole game is a uh, you want a shot. That's that's how easy being social at a club can be. It's like yo, you want to take shots, and then you're like ah yeah yeah, yeah. or, or you go like this yeah. and jump. <laughs> you always pull that, that shit up. That's all you do. That's all you do, fam. That, that's what people do at clubs, though. Facts, is facts. that what people do at clubs? Yeah, because because you don't want to make shit awkward. So you, yeah, I guess you just have one out. And then and then the only game you can spit is whisper game. <laughs> Trust me, if y'all don't know what whisper oh, game is. Cameras cut for a sec, so we're back to it. Okay, back back to what I was saying, though. If y'all don't know what Whisper Game is, do you know what Whisper Game is? Yes, it's just, yo, 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 how are you? Like, what's the vibe? Exactly, (laughs) exactly. Y'all, practice your pillow talk. Mm -hmm. Practice your your Whisper Game. Because, Loki, that game is more important than freaking just out in public. Facts. No, that's the hardest. I hate, I hate, um trying to game at the club because there's not even the whisper game kind of doesn't work unless you're really good no, at you it you can be good at you, it bro you, you have to have certain punchlines to get there because if you're if you're in the girls you're like yo what's up that doesn't work you have to hit him with no like, no, no no listen this is this is why it's hard okay this is why it's hard yeah. it's because when you're whispering you're usually you sound vulnerable oh, you're whispering word. Like this, right? yeah yeah, yeah. But when you whisper you got to talk like smoothly like, mm, yeah. you know that's, <laughs> that's how, okay that's how you got to do I that whisper that. game and when when girls hear that whisper game bro yeah. trust me uh-huh all right, it's game. It's I, remember, game. <laughs> I remember we were at the club one time, and I remember there was a girl, and you're like, "Yo, what's up? My name's Carlos," and you were just uh, you're just doing your yeah, thing, yeah. and then you're like, "Oh, this is my friend, this, and this is my friend, this," and then I was just standing like, 
Because, fam, because, yo, I don't know what to say. I'm like, oh, what's up? And no, then, you say what's up, bro. Yeah, I, I said what's up, and then I was like. That was such the, that was literally <laughs> an easy, like, yo, who wants, who wants, yeah. fam? <laughs> No, because I, I can't game at the club because the music is just too loud. Dog, all you got to do is introduce yourself, fam. Like, yeah. how, how's it going? My name's Gavin. They don't you know care. I, mean? I swear they don't care. They about do that. care. They nope. do care. They're, they're going to forget about it at, at the it end doesn't, of the day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As, lo as long as you try, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. As long as you try. As long as you try, then yeah. shit. No, no. My, I think my game is the best when it's just us two. Oh, like, like, like yeah, me, no, that's shorty. Okay, I, I take back what I said. Like, it's it's not more important. Yeah. It's just as important. As I important. Mean. It's yeah. just as important as a regular intimate exactly. game. Yeah. Because, fam, imagine you're, you're after the club. Now you have to go out and talk. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's just as important, I want to say. <laughs> you're not outside the club like, yo, what's up again? No, no, no. no. But, but, but when you get into situations where you have to use that, <laughs> like, um... That yeah. whisper talk, feel yeah, me? yeah. I Even feel on the phone, bro. Trust. Now nah, the phone is hard too. I usually hate the phone. I, I love the phone. I love I the, hate phone. the phone. Cause I, I. Okay, here's another. You remember we were talking about the things that I thought that was whack? Yeah. Before I, I find out, I found out another one that I thought that people was that whack. call. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I was it, gonna, I was gonna press you. <laughs> <laughs> it's people that can't read the room. You said that. No, no. I kind of, I kind of didn't say it because I said it in another manner. But, nah, but, but, you but, said that. But fam, I was at, a, I was at a cottage, right? And yeah. this girl did not know like when to shut up, like. Like we were telling a story and a guy was getting mad yeah. and then she just kept, she kept instigating it. She kept instigating it. Yeah. I'm like, bro, he's trying to just be mad on his, on him by himself. You don't have to say stuff to piss him off. Like she mm. couldn't read the room. It was so, and then like it was 3 a.m. Because she's feeding into the drama, bro. That's what it is. Exactly. That, that's why. Feeding, feeding into, that's what, that's what I don't like either. Is, yeah. is when there's an issue that can arise and then you want to feed into negativity. Feed into, People I, that feed into negativity for their own pleasure of excitement. Yeah. That happens all the time. Bro. <laughs> I hate how I hate how it excites people to, to, to like cause trouble, fam. Not gonna lie, okay. That's <laughs> the most toxic shit. Okay, not gonna lie. Okay, in some fights, remember in like high school and shit. No, like but that's that, that's less like immature, yeah, fam. Yeah. This, like I've been through that. that I'm that not that gonna lie. Yeah, that was yeah, me that before. That was me. Before. I don't blame y'all. Yeah, I don't blame y'all. But like, it, once you mature and realize like this shit, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it, and it's not even. It's it's looking a party pooper for yeah. everybody else that that mm -hmm. it falls onto. Exactly, like it's fun for you because you're enjoying watching it, watching yeah. it fucking burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the people that are in the situation and them going through it, yep. now nah, you're just doing them a fucking disservice. Exactly, that's why you have to be careful who you surround yourself with. Because if you always surround yourself with people who love drama, you're gonna be brought into the drama. Yeah, you'll be brought Somehow, into drama, bro. It'll, it'll all be one one little circle. <laughs> Yo, what happened? Because I I catch myself too sometimes. Like sometimes somebody wants to. Uh, gossip gossip yeah, you know yeah. you know the the just tita mosa. yeah just, yeah, just yeah. Mosa. yeah wants a gossip gossip fam yeah ah uh, it, it irks me yeah. it irks me because because there's a little bit in me mm -hmm. that's like i want to i want to hear like i want to hear i'm not gonna lie like like sometimes hearing drama and like gossip or whatever yeah it is low-key exciting mm. why do you think that is mm. i don't know it's just it's just out of the norm like you hear the preach positivity but once that shit happens like ooh. Let's get it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, maybe it's like I can tell a story mm. to, to, to somebody else. I think, you know why? Why? This is my theory on it. This is my theory on okay, it. Okay, okay. I feel like people like to gossip because it makes them feel important. Them feel that's good too. Right? Hold on. If you take like a like a psychologist look on it, yeah. Because if if something terrible is happening to somebody and you gossip about it, you feel better about yourself. True. No. That's what people do. Okay. That's why it's so shit. Yeah, hold on. Cause I know I know a big like gossip person yeah. who who thinks they're better than others? So that narcissism. Exactly. So I exactly. Think that's what, yeah. It's like they're trying to they're trying to shit on other things Bec because they don't match the energy. Yeah. Exactly. Cause, cause that, that was one situation of mine. One of my friends was showing to me, me to a new person, mm. and she was already like, mm, like giving me giving me that weird look. And you know me, what am I gonna do if I see an extrovert? Yeah. I'm gonna match that energy. And the the way that I did it was I was I was. Like I put my appearance bigger than hers. Yeah, yeah. And she didn't like that at all. That's why it's literally in the middle of the dinner table, mm -hmm. she texts my friend, yo, he's giving me weird vibes. <laughs> yeah, when, when, when I heard that, yeah. when I heard that, I'm like, I'm not giving you, you're just insecure about yourself yeah. now. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm putting you like, I'm showing you what you Exactly. Are. That's what I've been trying to teach you, yeah. bro. That's what I've been Come trying on, to teach man. you, bro. We do this. <laughs> Cause all of this shit, like all of this information too, you can learn it in real life experience, but you yeah. get in the books too, fam. Max, you get in the books too. If y'all ever want to, if y'all ever want to improve your own, like 
I guess, mindsets yeah. or even just your life in general. Mm -hmm. There's information out there. You can Plus. just go and learn and then actually experience it yourself and put it to put it to use. Yeah, I know. But but that was a really uh, that situation was really a wake up because I kind of wanted her to like me. And I didn't like that because mm. it's like. Not, not, I have to accept that not everyone's going to like me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I kind of got pissed. Like I did, everyone at the table liked me except her. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to stay there anymore. Oh, really? Just because yeah, that yeah. one person. I literally called my friend. I'm like, yo, I just, can you make an excuse to get me out of here? Mm -hmm. And he was like, but at the end of the day, I stayed and I was like, okay. Let's yeah, bro. Because, because when I was, when I was really trying to like <clears throat> be comfortable with myself you and, and. Check. Yeah, and be in situations where I know people don't like me as much, yeah. but I still stay true. I'm not gonna lie, it is uncomfortable. Yeah, it fam, like it real, hurts. real, real shit. Like I, when I was trying to find myself mm. being in those positions, I was mad uncomfortable, but I fought through it, fam. I, yeah. You fight that shit. How, how'd you do it? You stand your ground, bro. Yeah. You stand your that, ground. Oh my God. But it's it's one of those like you gotta you gotta. Mm, you yeah, know what I mean? it's hard. I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to explain it without a sound effect. Yeah. You have to like. Mm. That ass, that ass. No, that's exactly no, that what it is. That's literally what it is. I literally came out the bathroom with the exact same. I was like, okay. Mm. Yeah, you gotta. Mm, yeah. You know, like mm, hashtag. Mm. <laughs> It can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you have high interest debt. And sometimes it can get even harder to ask for help. So that's where Upstart comes in. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Upstart has helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. So whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart can help you get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Plus, they know you're more than just your credit scores. So rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other factors like income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. So you're able to check your rate in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000, guys, without impacting your credit score. So we've all been there, man. Personally, I've always been hit with unexpected bills and expenses, but luckily, Upstart was there to save me. So shout out Upstart. So don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash jumpers. That's upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, to check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL and let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to click. <laughs> no, bro, that's actually fact. No, because look, look, even even if you're going to perform, um, let's say you, you have a presentation to do, yeah. right? And you're not feeling well, no matter what you got to perform, you still yeah. got to, you still got to, what do you call it? Show, you still got to show up and do your shit. You got to do your job, whatever. Yeah. And when it's time to bite the bullet or at least like sit down and get to work, fam, yeah. no matter how you're feeling, you have to fight that shit. And then yeah. fighting that is going to feel, you're going to feel scared. It's going to, it's going to hurt at first. You're going to feel super uncomfortable, but yeah. It gets easier, it gets easier, yeah. and then easier. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, none of that shit matters. Yeah. Is there a situation as a kid where you had to, like, the first time you, th you, you, uh, like, realized, like, I have to fight something. Like, mm. shit, I have to brave, like, toughen up. Yeah, anxiety, bro. Oh, yeah? Anxiety. Yeah. Man, I had a lot of anxiety growing up. Yeah. I'm not even going to count. Mm -hmm. I had so much anxiety. But, but the way I dealt with it was not by covering in the corner and being like okay i need a rest and then maybe i'll feel better let me stay in my comfort zone is saying fuck that comfort zone let me step out and then let's see if i can live in there instead yeah, yeah. the most the, i think the most boring people stay in their comfort zone and then like the most unique people just go out that's why it's like you have a lot to talk about oh yeah it's kind of true yeah because like oh you you have new experiences if you stay in that one experience how boring you think this podcast would be if we didn't step yeah, up yeah that yeah 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 you feel me because because you you even have to be you, you, you can't be afraid to like uh, speak your mind, bro. Yeah, can't be afraid to speak your mind. I know. It, it was opposite for me because when I um had that confidence like down when yeah. I was playing basketball, cause I was like, I quit. I mm -hmm. quit. And one of my, the, the biggest things that my dad told me that stuck with me, he was like, nah, you're just a quitter. So like, fuck, I have to, I have to get back. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So what I did was I went to Taekwondo and that's why I, 
if for any of the kids out there, like do some type of martial art, bro. No, that's so. Or, 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 if you do martial arts, you're blessed. Or just do any sport because it'll teach you so much that you don't think you're actually learning. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Because I mean? once I was once I was in it, I was like, oh, I can do ten more push ups. But that little ten more push ups like taught me about nah, for resilience. Real, for real. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know. Yo, check this out. So just recently, I just yeah. made a discovery, fam. Okay. So when when I swallow my vitamins, bro. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. You can do that. Shit I'm onto something. I'm onto something. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. When I swallow my vitamins, right? Uh -huh. I take the, I take the gummy vitamins first, and I take like the magnesium, and then I have these big ass vitamin C pills. See, which I, <laughs> I don't get why you take that shit. That's scary. The vitamin C pills are like this big, yeah, and they're rigid, bro. Why the fuck do they make I rigid pills? It makes no know. sense. They're like sharp on the edges. If anything could, if they could always make gummies, yeah, I would, I would eat the fuck out of medicine. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, so. So I was taking the pills, right? Yeah. And I was looking at them like, oh, this one's gonna scratch on my throat. <laughs> pause, pause. Pause, hey, hey yo. yo. Yeah. Nah, nah. But the moment I put it in, yeah. I dreamt, I sipped the water. Yeah. What, it ha what happened? Scratch your throat. Scratch my shit up, bro. Come on, man. And I'm like, Ugh. You yeah. know, that shit happened. I know those are, yeah. So the next one, right? I said to myself, uh, this one's going smooth. Uh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> This whole thing is fast. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. But I listen. I'm like, okay, this yeah. one's going down easy, no homo. Facts, facts, facts. And then I put the water in. Go, oh, yo, it went down so smooth, so, no homo. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's pause, pause, no, pause. But it went down smooth. Yeah, because you told yourself. Yeah. To be honest, if you did that with the with the big one, it probably would have went down the same. No, way. they're both the same size actually, because I took oh, two. Oh, the, the same pills, the mm. same vitamin C pills, but the first one I had like. Yeah. I was anxious about like ah I gotta swallow this. Word. So I think I think if you prepare yourself, go into that mindset and mm -hmm. say something positive beforehand and prep yourself to be in that position of success, mm -hmm. you'll get it. Yeah, that's true. But I think that ha that happens with a street fight too. Cause if, imagine you're like you're like stressing like I'm gonna get fucked up mm. before a fight. Yeah, if you say that before a fight, you're getting yeah, fucked up. Yeah, you're getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter what happens. You're getting fucked. If you say that in your head, you're fucked. Yeah, you're but but it's cool how um <clears throat> do you feel like fighters. Like you know, in the the stare offs. Yeah. You you really think that a fighter thinks about that all the time? Yeah. Like sure. I'm, I'm gonna get fucked up by this guy. Oh yeah. No no. They think the opposite. I, but I they're trained like, to do that, bro. Yeah. But I feel like that's all pretending though. That you're just lying to yourself. This guy's oh, this guy wants to stay on lying, fam. This guy. <laughs> I knew you were this guy, this guy wants to stay on lying, bro. No, no, but but like that's that's not good though. Like I see it. In no, the, it is good, bro. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. A good coach, listen to me. Mm -hmm. A good fighting coach yeah. would tell his student okay. every single time, make a make a motto in your head, mm. make a mantra, yeah, yeah, shout it sure. out. I'm the greatest. I'm the best. I'm the champ. Whatever, right? If they don't say those things and they say the opposite, it's more of it's more of they say those things so they don't say the other. Exactly, exactly. They don't say the the other equivalent of the negative. Yeah. Feel me? <laughs> Imagine you have a no filter coach like Orion, and he's like. <laughs> Yo, what is what yeah. it is? <laughs> this guy goes. I don't know. This guy's looking kind of deep still. I don't know. <laughs> or like a John. Or like a John. Yeah, you're getting fucked up. Yeah, but it's no, not you looking good. You can't have those mans around yeah, you, that's especially why I, in your corner, fam. I'm the best, like, to be in your corner because I'll gas you, yeah. even though you're like hella short and you're about to get fucked up. <laughs> Let's go champ. Let's yo, go yo, yo. If, if, there's, if there's any fighter out there that wants me and Gavin to corner them. Please let us corner you. Fact, we'll oh, vlog that shit. Facts. We'll make it sick. I promise. Yo, that would be so fire. I promise. I promise. Yeah. Hit us up. If you want us to corner you, we'll do it. We'll yo, do it for free. Yo, you'll get plus 10 confidence <laughs> just from me. And then you'll get plus 10, uh, uh, what do you call this? Manifestation from Carlos. Exactly. Exactly. You already won. You already won. You already won. I'll even put money on your on your fight and shit too. Because I know you're going to win. The guy in the other corner is like, who the fuck are those two? <laughs> Wait, that's Gavin. That's Jumper's Jump. That'd be crazy. That'd be fire. That'd be fire. Have to crazy, do that. gotta do that. Oh, gotta yeah. do it. Fuck. I was thinking. I, I always wanted to make like um, cause I've been watching shows lately. Eh? Yeah, I've been watching shows. What have you been watching? Oh, uh, speaking of speaking of like Zoe Kravitz. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. been watching her show High She's Fidelity. Fire. She's fire. Yeah, that's a good show. Mm -hmm. That's that's a show. It's kind of like um, it's a very musical show, and it's oh, a very okay. like day in the life type of thing. So oh, I'm okay. thinking to myself, cause I'm a content creator. Yeah, you know me, and I do wanna, I do wanna pursue other things like. TV or film, For sure. not acting, but at least directing. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself like, man, I have all of these scripts and all of these things. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can make like a mini series or something. Oh, right? like a like a just you and the day in the lives. Not even day in the life, but like at least 
it feels regular because yeah. this show it felt regular, mm-hmm. but it was like it was like following a story that like unfolded in different depths and shit. Was and it, then, so this is not a documentary, right? It's a show. Nah, it's a show. It's a show. Oh. But what's dope about it is it's like imagine imagine it's just you. You wake yeah. up and then you're living your life, and but you have those times where you're talking to the camera like, okay, today I'm going to do this, blah, 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 mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it's almost as like if she has her own... Um, You watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No, I haven't. Ah, oh, damn. What is that? What is that? Ferris Bueller's Day Off is... So it's just his it's, life. It's similar. He breaks the fourth wall, talks okay. to the audience. And I think it would be dope if we could do like some type of mini series like fire, that. That would be fire, fam. No, like, I think on Netflix, the number one thing I like watching is the the glow-up documentaries. The glow-up like, documentaries? Um, uh, the, the Kanye one. The Kanye yeah, one. Yeah, the Kanye one. Have you, have you seen the, the Dr. Dre one? Where no, he, I haven't, haven't. Really? That's no. a good one. His whole his whole like how he bought beats or how he was associated with beats yeah. that stuff like his whole story growing up black pink mm. i wasn't even a, the the thing that got me on to k-pop drama was that was, documentary? Was that documentary wow because how they fam they take like like girls and they train them non-stop like seven times a day mm. like they're just uh dancing everything yeah yeah like there's, that's crazy to me. i think there's something about like the real yeah and that's what's missing i feel like that's missing in today's film and television is we miss a little bit of that realness exactly that realness that's why when you watch like 80s films if yep. there's like a there's a vibe to it, it's like damn this is so realistic yeah, right yeah. like oh uh, for example let's say let's say you watch like even top gun or something yeah. like dog there <laughs> you didn't watch it <laughs> That's the, the first story. That's what we started with. <laughs> but yeah, no, I get that. No, no, no. But there, there's a feeling how it's like, there's nothing too spectacular going on. Like stuff happens and yeah. it's super exciting to, to watch it unfold, mm-hmm. but it's not too far off of real life. Yeah. No, I feel like the, even the, the horror movies back then were They're way scarier. more scary than the ones now. Cause everything is like cartoonish. Cartoonish. Yeah. Yeah. They, they even made, um, uh, the, the, I think it was, what's that Freddy Krueger where he walks to you? Oh, um, nightmare on Elm street. Yeah. Th- so the, it was, I think it's a Freddy Krueger challenge. Yeah. So you start with a person and, and one person there and there's a door yeah. and the person has to speed walk and you have to run to the door to test how fast you can open oh, it before he real? gets you so it's like oh test if you're actually in a um, uh, horror movie that's crazy what <laughs> it's so so it's like a, it's like a game type of yeah, thing yeah, yeah. That's it's the, oh it's a michael myers challenge that's like there's escape rooms or not escape rooms but like um haunted houses where they oh, have yeah? the they have like the the murder oh, chasing you at, yes fam that's crazy we need yo we actually need to set up a, a freaking horror uh, what do you call this? Like active one where it's like mm-hmm. they're chasing you the whole time. You know what I've been thinking about recently actually? What, what? To make to make this podcast like super interactive. Yeah. I was thinking I wanna drop like a whole collection, like clothing. <laughs> okay. Wiko Studios collection. But I'll make like discount codes actual codes and encrypted messages in something i say on the podcast so Whoa. if you want if you want a discount on Wiko studios you have to listen to what i'm saying on a certain mystery oh, nah. i'll give you a hint and then you got to figure out what that code is and then that code will be the discount code that, <laughs> that's so interactive no, that's too, <laughs> right? That'd be crazy. that's too interactive like like words you said like yeah oh, like, this theory no I'll, I'll give a hint i'm like Oh, what did I say on this time? Oh, blah blah. Okay, yeah. What's the secret behind this? And then, yeah. like, if you can figure it out, true. That's the code, true. bro. Me, me and my boy at the cottage, you had this little like drunk moment where we just we were just uh, it was just me and him. Yeah. And we we're like, yo, what are your plans for the future? And then we were just we we're just off it, fam. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yo, I want to, cause I said I want to start a club, like, cause I, I go really? to lots of clubs. I was like, I like I like getting everyone together and having a good time Mm -hmm. so it's like i'm gonna start a club and he's like yo you know what i'm gonna start right beside you a 24 a 24 hour chinese restaurant (laughs) supply and demand bro supply and demand club and right beside it is that is the 24 hours yeah 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 (laughs) and then and then i was going on i was like Oh, imagine there was a store called Munchies, right? Yeah. And in the back is where everyone you can smoke and you come out and you get all the, the junk foods and you're just That's all... That's sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're like, oh, that probably is not a thing because you have to drive home and mm-hmm. being high while you're driving is illegal, you know? Yeah. But... <laughs> Like, bro, supply and demand, fam. If there, if there's a if there's a demand for it, or you make the demand for it, yeah, you could easily sell that for sure, easily. So, um, when my uncle he actually opened up a, a mechanic shop. Oh yeah, he opened up a mechanic shop like years ago. Okay, but this was when I was still like I think early high school, like say like grade ten, right? And he was asking me like, 
Carlos, what are some ways I can I can like market it, get yeah. more customers? TikTok? Nah, nah, TikTok didn't exist. Yeah, okay, okay. But this is what I told him, bro. Looking back, I'm like, fuck, I'm actually a genius. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, what this happened? is what I said, this is what I said. So I'm like, you know what you should do? You should make like a fake UFO sighting in the sky. Oh, you're <laughs> fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked. Listen, listen. And then, and then have like have like the title or like the sign of his, his mechanic shop yeah. in that area. So when people drive down to go investigate it, drive far. Mm. If their car breaks down, dog, it's the mechanic shop oh right my. there. Okay, not gonna lie, I, I hate gassing you, but that's a fucking <laughs> tough idea. Oh my goodness, right? Because because yeah. if if um it's super far in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. people want to drive out to see like, oh, I want to see this spectacular thing. That's why I think certain like monuments or whatever mm -hmm. they put lore onto it to bring to people bring there. Yeah. To bring that's people true. there. That's true. Remember when you were talking about the Andrew Tate marketing? Yeah. There was another marketing that was really smart I seen. It was the first free water bottles. Have you seen this? First free. No, 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 no. So they're in New York right now, and they're literally giving to everyone walking yeah. a free water bottle. Like, it's actually proper. For and, what? And everyone's like, how is it free? And it's like, oh, you see the advertisements on the bottle? Mm. They pay for the water. So it's the first free water that in anything oh so, so on the bottom it'll be like oh uh insurance it, they'll just yeah. be hella marketing but nobody cares about it because it's free water mm, but it's still gonna be there and then once in the trash you see that yeah. anyways exactly you see it exactly like anything that's blatantly in your face like you're gonna notice it somehow yeah it's like, subconscious like, like why is youtube free because the ads pay for it literally yeah 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 we just gonna pay for the ads you yeah me? some of the best businesses fam yo See, look, if you look at like, let's say Tesla, because yeah. there's a theory, there's like a conspiracy I want to talk about Tesla okay, real okay, quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because do you think there's some shit Tesla does to like Tesla? Because they're very smart, bro. Yeah, they're very smart and very smart with social media too, fam. Mm. And they know how to get you talking. I think Elon, Elon's such a great, He's like, too, he, he knows too much. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Yo. <laughs> this shit made okay. me, made me fucking second guess reality. Okay, but let me see it. Is Look. it the Tesla bot? Like the, the yeah. human? Did you see that? Yes, bro. I saw it. The wait, Tesla bot. Yeah, like the, the human. Or what is it called? No, it's, no, it's no, no, no. So they okay, I'm gonna show you the video. Okay. But this video is of you know when they when Elon sent a Tesla into space? Yeah. So he sent a Tesla into space <laughs> and there was like a, a dummy in it. But look. Let me see. So this guy was watching it live stream, because this was a live stream, right? Okay. Look what happened. Yo, look. Same look how fake this is. Look. So he's watching the he's watching the Tesla live stream. Okay. Boom. You see that? So pause it. You see the Tesla and the robot. Look where it is. Where is it? It's look look now. Keep watching. Keep watching. Okay. Space. What is this? Oh wait. Let me fix it. Let me unpause this. Look at this. Oh no. All of a sudden, in space. In space. How they do that? That shit was fake the whole time. Nah. That shit was fake the whole time. They faked the Tesla being in space, bro. <laughs> I told you, Elon Musk is a is a hero, Superman, because he can lie and manipulate. Oh, oh, come whatever, on, bro. bro. Nah, but this shit is crazy to me. Look, look, look. Because this is what we all saw. This is what we all saw on social media yeah. is is the, the world, space, exactly. and then freaking this. Bro, it glitched out, fam. Yeah, it glitched out and oh, wait, showed the think. freaking the studio behind it. Exactly. So he's a professional liar. That's crazy. You feel me? You can do it. Like remember, um, I guess all YouTubers are liar. Cause look, you can lie on the thumbnail. The thumbnail makes the video. You don't mm. have to have good content. As long as you have some red arrows and some crazy thumbnail, <laughs> the, yeah. you will be a successful YouTuber. Low key, low key. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we had better, but, but you have to, you have to keep them coming back. So you exactly. still have to give good content. But it can be decent. But as long as you get some clicks, then you're good. Then Debatable, debatable, okay. debatable, debatable. Cause I I've I've watched some clickbait videos. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> like I watched some I watched some clickbait ass yeah. videos. I'm like, I'm ne I wanna like freaking dislike, whatever. Yeah, true. Cause fam, like we, we could have catfished so much. Uh fucking Robin. Uh imagine we put the, the guy from Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, or nah. fucking Luca face rug. Like, oh my god, we could have <laughs> thing. Like, I love them both, fam. Like, you guys are goats. <laughs> but you feel me? We could have, we could have banked on that. <laughs>
Because people that don't know, so we had Robin on the podcast, yeah, and then all the comments were like, "Yo, that's a guy from Spider Man, yeah, Spider Man, Ned from Spider Man," because yeah. he actually looks like him, exactly, not gonna lie. Exactly. And then Luca did look like Face Exactly, though. exactly. Lying's not a superpower. Shut the fuck L- up. No, bro. lying is a really crazy thing to have in this world. I remember Joey Sasso. I think that that's what his name is. The the motivational guy who's always on your Joey voice. Sasso. I don't. The, the the fat chubby Italian. Oh yeah. So he, I think he was telling a story about lying and how he didn't want to do it anymore because. Right before his um, mother passed away, yeah, he lied about something, right? Oh, and he and, never got to tell. And he never got to tell his mother like what actually happened. Yeah. So he's like, from now on, I will never ever lie to my parents. Like, if, if they ever pass away, like in in an instant, yeah, I, I want them to go out knowing what I actually did. Damn. Yeah, that's tough. That's it's tough. tough. I, I try my best never to lie. Yeah. Like, if I lie, I say white lies. Is white lies good, though? I feel like white lies are good, though. It, white lies like, are good. I think exactly, white lies are good. Exactly. Some people think that white lies aren't good. It, it depends on, like, the scenario, but, though. But to save a s- scenario by white lying it and just avoiding it in general, that's good. I'm anti-lie. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm yeah, anti-lie. I'm anti-lie until it gets to a circumstance where you're allowed to lie. <laughs> oh, my God. You feel me? <laughs> you, should just, you should just be a spy, fam. Like, fucking, like, if you want to lie, lie your ass yeah. off it as a spy. Or be yeah. a lawyer. But be no, a politician. But, but, here's a contra- <laughs> but here's a contradicting thing about me. You know I like to lie, right? Yeah. But... When I get like um, if I'm in an investigation room, what will I do? I won't lie. I'll fold under pressure. Why? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, that that's actually- exactly. Yo, like, like, listen, I just listen, took that in. Listen, listen. When it comes to the time where <laughs> it's uh, supposed to be important, when I lie, I don't lie. Damn, I just bagged that. It's Yo, to- why is that, bro? I, I actually don't know. I actually- no, I just yeah, you do. Yeah, like at the times it doesn't matter, you do I, it. I- <laughs> When it doesn't matter at all, I'll just do it. But at times it's like, yo, you need to to lie. <laughs> oh my god! So imagine we were in a bank robbery and I had to lie for you. I would probably be like, nah, it's him. <laughs> wow, I just, why, bro? What do mm. you think? Okay, maybe it's um, it's, it's okay. We'll put it in that scenario. I'm always thinking for myself, so I'll, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll lie. I'll yeah. do the white lies when it doesn't matter because it, it doesn't affect anything. Yeah. But when it comes to me, I'll I'll tell the truth because just it comes back on to you. Come back oh onto you. shit! I figured it out. So so when when there's pressure of something coming back and biting you back, then I'll actually tell the then truth. Then you yeah yeah. But but Word. if there was a scenario where it wouldn't, I would lie. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Yo, chime in in the comments what you guys think about this. This is an interesting topic. No, interesting topic. Everyone in this comment section has lied before. Oh yeah, no, I'm not saying I don't lie. Like I do lie, but I try not to. Yeah, I try not to. And exactly. I could, I could probably, I could probably like count on my fingers like how many times I lied, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, like or at least lied recently. Yeah. Hashtag lying is ethical. I'll put that on a. It's t-shirt. not ethical, bro. <laughs> it's not ethical. White lies, maybe. Or yeah. lie, fam. Yeah. There, there was a guy. He was like, uh, I was scroll on TikTok. It's like the career advice. He's like the number one thing for everyone who's trying to get a corporate job. Yeah. Lie about your experience. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they don't check. That's true. It's Pe- true. People right now don't even check if you graduated, fam. You can really, tell them, yeah. There, there was a YouTuber who, um, who did us uh, like, oh, I, I applied to a hundred jobs without any experience, and he just lied about it, mm. and he got calls back. Yo, should I do that same experiment, bro? It was actually, it <laughs> Yo, was I actually, feel like I could pull that shit, man. Yo, please do it. Should we do it? Because it's actually very like. I might be able to pull that shit. Yeah. Yo, let's try it. You'll get a really Cause, good. Because I don't have a degree or nothing. Yeah. Exa- oh my god. Let's I try it. Degree, and then right? I'll do the same thing, but I'll say I have a degree and watch you get more. The only problem is like if, if the employer's a jumper's jump fan. Yeah, like, <laughs> is like, Carlos, what the fuck are you doing, man? Or somebody blows the cover. <laughs> Yo, that would suck. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Podcaster, what the hell? Is this your podcast? <laughs> I know. That's the only thing that sucks. Because some of the stories, man, it just comes back to bite. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna dive deeper because we didn't really talk about like philosophy of lying, fam. Because... Okay, yeah. Honestly, it's all fun in games. Yeah, it's all fun in games until somebody gets hurt or until you get hurt. Oh, what? When, when we lie? Yeah. Because okay, yeah. more times, bro, the problem with, with lying is you really... If you lie, mm-hmm. usually lie to yourself. Yeah. And then and then when everything st- piles up, piles up, piles up, and you do lie to yourself, 
you know when people have like um uh what do you call this um a midlife crisis midlife, yeah midlife crisis, midlife yeah. crisis. Yeah. i feel like those people that do go through it mm -hmm. is they lie to themselves about situations where oh no i feel okay i feel okay i'm let me put it aside okay. like and then that's them lying to themselves yeah right but you can say like remember the first scenario where you told is like that guy was happy even though he lied his whole life mm. that that's that just proves it Nah, it depends though, bro. It depends. But, but a person in a midlife crisis could just continue to lie to themselves. And at the end of the day, I don't know. Fam, I don't know. Yeah. Because I think, I think, it people, depends the scenario. Pe people start having a midlife crisis when they start being truthful to themselves. So why break the streak? Just continue it. No, 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 no. But it's, I think, I think, yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah. that is true. Yeah. That is true. But the problem with that is it might not be them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uncovering the truth. It's yeah. his, his surroundings. Yeah. No, I, like this whole time I've been talking about lying, but I don't support lying. You feel me? <laughs> like, don't lie to yourself, man. Be don't let you lie to yourself right now. You How? do support lying. How? I watch Top Gun. <laughs> okay. That's another lie right there. What? I, I don't support lying. I don't support lying. <laughs> I don't support lying until it's in a situation where you can actually lie. Okay, so there, you exactly. added more to it. Yeah. You added more to your sentence, fam. Like, it doesn't count. That shit does not count. Hey, man. But honestly, look, if you say the truth your whole life, I feel like you can't go wrong. The truth your whole life. Like, if I lived my whole life and only said the truth. And you had no filter, no, you wouldn't. I think we'll be fine. I don't think so, I think so, you'd bro. be fine. You would definitely miss out on certain things. No, listen, listen. Because, like, the truth. Okay, say a person's coming out of uh, high school. Yeah. And they have no life. Like, they have no, like, there's no way they can have a successful career. Why? Why? No, no, just let's say the, the situation, okay? Yeah. And, and you're being 100% truthful. And so that guy is always telling him, yeah, I have, I can, there's no way I can be in corporate job. There's no way I can get a good job. Imagine, no, but that's what he, he's saying to himself. Exactly. But truth can lead to, to harm too. Nah. You have. I disagree. I disagree. Because look, look, if, if you tell the truth to yourself and then you see yourself, Oh, I'm in this shitty situation. Yeah. You'd want to get out. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Unless you're the type of person to stay in it. But the, usually, the yeah. people that stay in a, a shitty situation are the people that lie to themselves that mm. this shitty situation isn't as shitty as it seems. Okay. Okay. So if you if you stay true to yourself, yeah, you'll find a way to get out because you're like, no, this is the reality. Let me get the fuck out. Okay. But okay. But here. Also, to talk about truth. Yeah. How about we live in a world where everyone who talks behind your back, you can hear it in your head. And you always hear the truth. That that does not lead to harm. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Yes, mm -hmm. but it depends how much. Because I said this on on uh. Wait, who do I have on the podcast? Uh, who? Oh, it's Sophia. I had Sophia okay. on the podcast again. I literally yeah. just recorded this one, mm -hmm. but I pretty much told her there was this um there was this actress. She was saying, "Yo, uh, if I if I were to swear at you and and call you all these like nasty words, yep. but in Spanish." Mm. You wouldn't know what the fuck I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And I would rather have it like that. No, but listen, but listen. Now, I'm not finished. Okay. It's because you don't put you don't put power to the words. Oh, okay, okay. Because you don't put power to the words. That's why if I swear at you in Spanish, blah, 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 you're like, oh, what the fuck? I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Like, the vibe is there, but, like, I don't know what it means, right? Yeah. Now, the moment I say it in English, like, oh, you're ugly, you're shit, whatever, blah, blah, blah and you say all these negative things about you, uh -huh. then, fam, it's going to hurt you because you know what these stuff this stuff means. Yeah. Now... You could know what it means, but the moment you take away the power, mm. take away the power to that shit. Yeah. Doesn't matter who says whatever to me. If I take away the power of your words, how can you affect me? Yeah, that's true. No, because I've been in that situation where I've actually like um I've I found out what they were saying, like mm. the truth about me. Yeah. And then what I did was I literally I didn't accept it. I lied to myself. I said, no, that, that's not true. Yeah. You feel me? Isn't that the same thing though? I just lied to myself and that, that got me through No, it. bro. Don't think like that. Mm -hmm. Don't think you lied to yourself. Think but, this, but, this is the truth. This is my truth. Yeah. But, but lying to myself made me think like, oh, that took away the power itself because I mm. knew in my, in my thing, or is that being truthful to myself? That's being truthful to yourself. Okay, so I didn't really lie exactly. to myself. Exactly. <laughs> it's being truth. That's what I'm saying. If you stay truthful, truthful to yourself all yeah. the time. Yeah. Then you can't go wrong. Yeah. You get me? Okay, okay. You can't I get go that. wrong. Because you know your truth. Mm -hmm. Whatever your truth is, yeah. they can't touch. That's true, that's true. Because you you're strong on your truth. But the moment, the moment you let other people like put Chime their in. two cents, put their two cents, blah, 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 yeah. you're gonna start thinking differently. That's true. Right? That's true. That's that's a good way to 
Yeah, that's, that's some good. That's some good uh, Facts. advice for y'all. Facts, man. Uh, leave that with. Stay with true you to guys. yourself. Lie when you need to. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can lie, but like, just yeah. don't do it all the time. Yeah, because no, trust like, me. Trust me. It creates b- bad habits. Like, then you'll you'll always want to lie, just because you're lying will create that perfect world for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and some people like I just know, fam. I, like some yeah. some people lie to my face. I'm like, ah, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, shout, but shout, it's all good. I'll, I'll play. A, I'll play along. I'll play along. Exactly. Feel me? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, all right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of the Jumpers Jump Podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the CTM Podcast if you yeah. haven't already. Yep. Oxworks is out for pre-order. Yep. Go listen to us on Apple, Spotify. Give us that five-star rating. We love you guys, man. Also, before you guys go, yep. we're gonna be playing Oxworks Honor Jumpers Club exclusive content yep. page. So, link in the description right now. We're going to continue this podcast on there. We're yes, going to play sir. Oxwords. We're going to chop it up a bit. Yep. And yeah. Never before and seen content. Go subscribe. Down in the description. Go check that out too. Don't forget. Facts. Go check that shit out. Yeah. Uh, follow us on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Jumpers jump out. This is.